Money is one of the most powerful forces in our lives, yet the way we think about and manage it is often irrational and emotionally driven. If you've ever found yourself struggling with financial decisions or wondering why others seem to have a better handle on their money, then the psychology of money is something you need to understand. Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be discussing the book, The Psychology of Money, by Morgan Housel. Let's get into the first key point of the book, which is that money is more about psychology than it is about finance. Housel argues that our beliefs, attitudes, and emotions about money play a more significant role in our financial success than the technical skills of managing money. This means that even if you have excellent knowledge of finance and investment, you may not necessarily be financially successful if you don't understand the psychology behind money. Housel believes that understanding the psychology of money is critical to making smart financial decisions. For instance, people who view money as a tool to achieve financial independence and security are more likely to make wise investment decisions, save more, and spend less. Conversely, People who view money as a measure of their self-worth or status may be more likely to overspend or take unnecessary financial risks. The importance of saving and investing. The second key point of the book is the importance of saving and investing. Housel emphasizes that building wealth is not just about earning more money but also about managing it wisely. He highlights that saving and investing regularly is the key to building wealth over time. Housel shares several stories of individuals who built significant wealth through consistent saving and smart investing. For instance, he tells the story of Ronald Reed, a janitor who left a $6 million fortune after his death. Ronald was not a high earner but saved and invested a portion of his modest salary over many years, allowing his investments to compound and grow significantly. The Power of Compounding the third key point of the book is the power of compounding. Housel explains that compounding is the process by which money grows exponentially over time. He shares several examples of how small investments made over time can grow into significant sums due to the power of compounding. For instance, Housel highlights that investing $1,000 annually in the S&P 500 index fund for 30 years can grow to around $225,000, assuming an average annual return of 8%. This is due to the compounding effect, where the returns on the investment earn additional returns. The fourth key point of the book is the impact of our biases and emotions on financial decisions. Housel argues that our biases and emotions can lead us to make poor financial decisions. For instance, the fear of missing out, FOMO, can cause people to invest in speculative assets without fully understanding the risks. Housel believes that understanding our biases and emotions is critical to making better financial decisions. By recognizing our biases, we can take steps to mitigate them, such as seeking advice from a financial advisor or taking a more disciplined approach to investing. The fifth key point of the book is the role of luck in financial success. Housel argues that luck plays a significant role in financial success, and people who recognize this are more likely to be successful. For instance, a lucky break in your career or a successful investment may significantly impact your financial situation. Housel suggests that people should not assume that financial success is entirely due to their hard work and skills. Instead, they should acknowledge the role of luck and be grateful for it. This can help them make better decisions, such as not taking excessive risks, diversifying their investments, and avoiding overconfidence. The final key point of the book is the importance of living a meaningful life. Housel argues that money is not an end in itself but a means to an end. He emphasizes that the ultimate goal of money is to provide us with the freedom to live a meaningful life, whether that be spending time with loved ones, pursuing passions, or making a positive impact on the world. Housel believes that the pursuit of money can often become all-consuming, leading people to neglect other important aspects of their lives. He argues that people should aim to strike a balance between their financial goals and their personal values and priorities. 
This means defining what a meaningful life looks like to them and then aligning their financial decisions with those values. The Psychology of Money is an insightful and thought provoking book that challenges readers to think about money in a new way. By emphasizing the importance of understanding the psychological factors that influence our financial decisions, Housel offers practical advice on how to achieve financial success while living a meaningful life. And that's a wrap for today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos like this one.